Hello, I am your host, Brujo underscore Anthony87. Woo woo! Coming to you live from my bedroom, instead of East Los Angeles in Southern California. I am a Brujo, a Santisma Muerte devotee, tarot card reader, intuitive empath, a glamour witch, and a healer. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, all under the same name. And today's topic is reversal spells. What is a reversal spell? Pretty much sends back any brujeria, any negativity, as the evil eye, if it's sent towards you, this is a way to defend yourself and to send it back to their fucking asses. Excuse my language. Now, if most of the time, I should say this now, curse works, people who think they're cursed um, most likely are not. And it's just maybe a form of Malojo, the evil eye, or it's just the circumstances what they're living in just it just happens. Shit happens in life. It happens for a reason. Some people don't believe that, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Cause everything does. So and there's that percentage. That is, you have, no, you have brujeria. You know someone who practices brujeria and they threw you away. This is a good way to protect yourself. So, what are you going to need? A heat-proof dish. I'm using a mocajete, but if you have a caldero, a cauldron, uh, some kind of ceramic bowl, um, just make sure it's heat-proof safe. A uh, white table salt. You're going to need a flammable liquid of some kind. I used a mixture of Florida water and um, Tia Tamachos. If you don't have any of those, you could use uh, rubbing alcohol. It's totally fine. A fire starter. I'm using a safe one. <laughs> Some people get really thinking about like, no, it needs to be wood. I don't care. Just light the fire in any kind of way. <laughs> um, Candles, okay. So, you could use a double action reversible candle. And they come in different colors in the botanicas. You're gonna see white and black, which is used as a general uh, removal of negativity and to send it back with the white and the black. Sorry, there's candle wax flame. <laughs> Let me kind of dump that in this broken terracotta cup. <laughs> Anywho, so, I'm all flinging this shit out. Um, if you have problems with love and you think they, someone is cursing your relationship and you want to reverse that back, the red and black is the one to go with. Most of the people will use just the red and black and just in general, and that's perfectly fine. There's also green and black. That one is for removing anything, um, uh, financial curses. So let's say someone put... Um, someone uh, was cursing your income and your wealth um, or giving you envy because of that you're going to use the green and the black one now I buy the white ones now only because I trust I trust uh, the quality of the candle and I uh, and especially the wicking you always want to make sure your candles are centered or else it gives you a false reading uh, the wick um it shouldn't be made out of zinc because most of the time it will give uh, it'll be uh, too dangerous uh, I've gotten some ones that they just crack and I know it's the manufacturer's default um, material wise you're going to need either a reversal oil um, you could use double action reversible oil reversing oils any kind um, you're also going to need a petition paper. Um, this one is already written out, so I'm um, I'm gonna protect the privacy of my client over here and not show you that. Also going to need garlic. Whole garlic is preferred. Ruda, which is rue in English and also some red hot chili pepper flakes. So first what we're gonna do is the salt. 
we're actually going to be cleansing and preparing the candle. Actually, let's do that first. So, if you already got your, if you already bought a double action reversible candle, then you might want to skip this step that I'm going to do and, you know, just wait until there. But if you don't and you're like me and you trust the candles that you buy, like at the, the grocery store or whatnot, which I kind of prefer anyway, you could draw the image of um, the, like the candles that you see out on the market, which is what I'm going to do. And this is going to look as so. So I'm going to carve, I'm going to draw on a little face, actually, a circle. You don't have to be a perfect artist. This does not have to be perfect by no, by either means. And one part is going to be um, like a yin and yang, like half the face will be black and the other white. Well, I don't know if you could see it like that, but sorry, getting that kind of a glare. So kind of like that. And you're going to draw arrows, one up and one down, starting at the top of the head. And one pointing down on the chin. Sorry, this glare. So, like that, I guess I'll have to hold it like that. Then I also like to write it one arrow going that way, one arrow going that way. So it will look like that. Okay. I'm kind of using the candle I've had already as reference. So this part is going to be for the back. You're going to start writing the words reversible from the top of the candle all the way from the bottom from up to down. says reversible then you're gonna draw one arrow in circular motions which I will demonstrate So one circle going that way, the other one going the other way. Okay. I'm going to this with your oil of choice. So if you have double action reversible oil, that's perfect. Um, let me see. I'm going to use my Santa Muerte oil for this demonstration. Slowly, if I could. All of these things are just falling out. Ugh, sorry. Okay. Cool. Santa Marta oil. I'm going to 
gonna put seven drops of oil for this case. You don't want to over overfill the candle too much with it, or else it could be very flammable, or even possibly drop out the wick. We got that. I'm just going to now at this point. Um, if you already have one that's already printed out, and you don't need to draw on it, then that's fine. Um, at that case, you would already start to cleanse yourself with the candle, starting from the head downwards. If you do do the method that I did um, with drawing it on, you're gonna have you're gonna want to rub your body with the candle first, and then dress it, and then mark it, just because it'll be easier, and you don't have to redraw the things again. Oh, you're also going to need a small. Um, piece of mirror round preferably sorry I didn't mention that before um, I'm just gonna pray get my hands off wrapped up with energy heated up I bless and I activate this candle in the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit to Reverse any witchcraft and envy, jealousy, hatred, any negative attentions that are directly sent to me. May all of that negative energy sent back to its source. Or in this case, in this part of this petition, you're going to say, if you know this particular person, persons, their names. If you don't know, just say in general, my enemies her enemies, his enemies, if you're doing this for another person. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, so that's imbued with your energy. I'm just going to just reignite or redraw an arrow that came off. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What? Now, your petition paper. You're going to draw two arrows, one going down and one going up. And the idea is your enemies go low while you rise above the situation. I'm gonna draw a little line between that just to kind of get the symbology right there you're going to write backwards from right to left um, the person's name or um, the, the one the person's name regarding like who's throwing the whammy at you the curse who's giving you the evil eye um, you're gonna write their name backwards and from right to left, their name. At least like three times, down to bottom. So, her enemies, her enemies, her enemies, backwards. And you're going to, on the other end, write the person's name regular left to right going forward um, their name and you could at this point just leave this down and set it to the side you could pray for it 
I bless and activate this paper in the name of the Father, in this petition paper in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let the enemies of let all their negativity, their witchcraft, and their negativity return back to them without causing any negative consequences. But let them learn the lesson very well. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You can set that to the side. Get your salt. And we're going to make a little fire. <laughs> a little bit. Now, I, for this part, you want to get the sand wet, but not like soaking, drenching wet. You kind of want to feel light and fluffy, kind of like similar to sand, like damp sand. I'm just going to take maybe a few drops of this, maybe like one, two. Salt is very protective. Um, it's also very cleansing as well. The salt does exactly what you want it to do. I'm stirring with um, my ritual knife here. Um, you could even use black salt for this working if you want to too because basically this is kind of what you're creating. I'm also going to add a little bit of Florida water. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing that, only because um, the spell who's actually inspired, there's two authors, like, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but if not, I'm going to say it again. Um, the ones who inspired me for this working, uh, her name is Hoodoo Delish, um, Miss Ava. Um, she pointed out that in most cases of reversibles, you don't really consider the, the aftermath of doing a reversal. Sometimes you have problem um, built up on top of as a result of trying to get rid of another problem. So you, at this point, you want things to go very peaceful. That's why you're adding in the Florida water. She used um, some essential oils um, that I don't have. So that's why I'm using Agua Florida and um, Sieta Machos. And Sieta Machos is very intense. Just for a little kick, I'm going to add in a very small amount of rubbing alcohol. Like I said, we want this very damp, like sand. Moistened. Why am I making a fire in summer? Because I love you guys. <laughs> okay, and then we're also going to pay over this. Let's well, activate this salt in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to help drive away any evil negative energy from let her enemy let their enemies feel the effects of their own spells that are aiming towards my client may all witchcraft be bounced off back from Let them be sent back to her enemies a thousandfold. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, we're going to light this on fire. Sometimes you might need just a little bit more just to get this going. Start off really small and then work your way a little more if you need more. Okay, so it's on fire. 
I intensify the subject that goes out. The way that Miss Iggy did it was so much flawless. and a cleanse this reversible candle. May the prayers be enhanced. May this salt mixture enhance the properties of this reversible candle. May all the witchcraft and envy and jealousy that is sent to be sent back to her enemies a thousandfold. Let there be no negative repercussions be done to onto my client after this spell is done. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. It's naturally going to go out on its own. And that's that. He essentially made black salt, but you can use this in the spell after. Just wait for it to cool after you do this because it's kind of hard to do that after. I'm gonna burn it as like an offering. There you go. And you're gonna go in a counterclockwise motion while you do that. If you like to work with essential oils, which Miss AB does, um, go follow her. You her uh, look at her video and how she does it. I believe she used rosemary and eucalyptus and some kind of other oils in there. So set that to the side. And um, I got my petition paper here. It'll lay that flat, and then. I'm gonna bring in the rest. So I'm bringing in my mirror. This, this right over here. I'm gonna set it down. And you could pray over this mirror. I bless and activate this mirror in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit to help remove any evil negativity. How to deflect and def how to reflect and deflect negative energy, the witchcraft, the jealousy, the hatred that is sent towards the person's name. May you return this spell, any witchcraft, Brudhedia, back onto the center. A thousandfold, threefold, ninefold, whatever number you want to fucking throw out there. I use a thousandfold good one. And then at this point you're going to put Ruva. I are gonna have this set up, but adding more, why not? You only need a little bit. Garlic. Three cloves. Bless and activate this garlic in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to absorb and remove all the evil and negative energies that are sent towards. Let any uh, witchcraft be sent back off onto the meaning Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then you can add the Ruva. Saying the same thing, basically. Uh, Ruva is very good for removing evil and negative energy at the same time. Chili pepper gives it a kick and it intensifies and burns up the negativity. So, we already done that right over here. At this point, we're going to lay down the candle uh when to burn this candle i honestly think anytime when you feel threatened or when you want to get rid of this because let's face it there ain't no waiting on a freaking perfect day to to return this shit but you can coordinate it with uh, burning it on a tuesday or a saturday 
Tuesday is related to the planet of Mars and is um, associated with warfare and protection and burning off from um, exorcism. Saturday is all about karma, retribution, um, curse work, and that thing like that too. And at this point, you're going to light your candle. I bless and light this work for all the prayers that I said over it to come into fruition. May all evil and uh, negative energy be reversed and bounce back onto my enemies, her enemies, his enemies, so forth. And you're going to let this burn all the way down. Things to um, keep an eye out for is um, some crackling or some popping noises. Excuse me, my family's calling me for dinner. <laughs> um, that means um, the spirits are probably working for you. Um, this is also probably a sign of anger from their side of the spirits, or just in general, maybe a, um, a spirit is trying to communicate with you. A strong flame will indicate um, strong magical energy is at work and is really putting it in for you. Um, if the candle goes from uh, dark but clears up, like clear all the way towards the bottom, that's an indication that the negative energy is released from, um, from you and being sent back. Um, if it turns all the way black, um, and before like the, the former, if it turns black but then clears up, um, you would need, have to need more um, serious uh, cleansings, more deeper cleansings. Excuse me, I should correct that. Or uh, deeper cleansings with the baños, um, the limpia with the ego, the barida, maybe all three. Um, and then um, if it cracks, that means um, I would take it as a release of um, the actions of the person. So it's doing its job. Um, if it happens to burn probably halfway through, I think that's just an indication that it's already done the job. You don't need to put in that much effort in such a big candle. It already had its necessary energy to do the job for you. So um, that is it. You're going to blend it to completion and then you could disperse this um, in the crossroads or um, if you want to be very bold and daring. You could dispose of this at your enemy's property where they will cross their path with. I would just safely do it, um, um, dispose of it in a trash can near the crossroads, leave an offering of pennies of some kind or whatever you kind of have. And that will be it. Um, I will talk to you later. Um, be kind. Um, <laughs> what do I always say? Stay, uh, be careful, stay safe. Be kind to yourself and be kind towards each other. Mucho, mucho, armo. Bye-bye.